Commodity doesn't have a balance sheet like a listed company has, but there is a method using the COT report that tell us which is the fair value, the intrinsic value of the commodity. I will tell you how to find it in this video while we analyze the COCOA prices. The first thing to do when we uh, analyze a commodity is to start watching the producer cot report what is the cot report very simple very easy uh, if we go to the cftc commission which is uh, the authority that every week publish the uh, cot report the commitment of traders we can find it here and of course in this page we can see for example talking about the financial we can see the cut report very simple here we can find all the different categories of traders active on the market for example in this case we are talking about the canadian dollar okay and in this report we can see how many long and short position they have on this specific market we take this data from all the category as you can see we have the producer the swap dealer managed money and blah 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 and we plot all the information and the historical data on a chart. When we talk about a commodity, it's very important to see what the producer are doing. Why? Because these guys use the futures in order to protect themselves from the volatility of the price of the commodity. And they know everything about the commodity. They are producing and they are selling because of course they know exactly how much does it cost to produce that specific commodity and they also have another very important information which is the number of order they have from their client so they really know exactly which is the intrinsic value for the commodity we are talking of for example we can see something very interesting because they are always short on the market okay as you can see here the net position is always below the zero line okay so they are always short but sometimes happen that these guys are a little bit long or they have a very close to zero position all the time they are very close to zero you can see we experience a very important low in prices this is because very simple they know exactly the value the real value of the commodity they are selling and if it, if they think for example like in this case at the end of 2022 that the commodity it was cheap of course they are not going to sell it on the future market okay if you like this video please try the forecaster terminal you can find the link in the description i also invite you to register to our weekly webinar you can find the link in the description too where every week we share our best trading and investment ideas let's go on with the cocoa prices and uh, so talking about uh, these uh, huge rising in prices we had first of all this huge signal starting from the producer and, man and merchant categories but as i told you before but i i was not sharing my screen we also had another big signals starting from the managed money category which is this look we were on a very important low in prices and managed money which are hedge fund cta's and all these kind of very important people okay they rapidly became bullish on this uh, uh, on this commodity and this is why for example talking about uh, cocoa uh, starting from the cot report it was a good idea to start to watch this chart and try to um, to do a long trade okay if we also go 
for example, in um, uh, to see the um, the cut report, okay, we can see something similar, but the opposite here. What happened starting from uh, let's say the beginning of 2024? We can see that the smart money started to close their long position. And especially in this last period, we had a huge divergence between prices and volume, between prices and cut report position. Okay. And as I told, as I told you in this video, which you can find on forecaster.bids slash videos here. You can click the button in the home page. You can find it here. You have to scroll down the page and you can find the code report here, the code report uh, complete tutorial. We find opportunities on uh, every market when we find a divergence between prices and volume. Very, very simple. Okay. If we go to the overbought and oversold page, we can see something really interesting. Okay. Because if we go and see, for example, the prices of Cocoa and the Wyckoff, our uh, special indicators that tell us if investors are buying or selling. A, a specific uh, a specific instrument we can see something very interesting because look starting from this point we had rising prices but the indicator started to tell us that the majority of, of investor was selling the position okay and we can find here a first divergence between the indicator and prices and the second divergence between the indicator and prices. If you will try to use this indicator, which is the Wyckoff, you will notice that every time we find two divergence, like in this case, we are in front of a big opportunity. In this case, we have a selling opportunity. Okay. We can also see something else because in this specific page of the forecaster, the overbought and oversold, where we analyze the prices starting from a statistical point of view, we can see something very interesting because in this case, we analyze not the supply and demand, but we analyze the velocity of the prices. And as you can see, we can find a divergence between prices and the indicator. And in this case, look, this level, this maximum compared here but at the same time, the indicator told us that the velocity of the prices was decreasing. Okay. If we put together all the, this information, of course, you can understand in this case that probably the market, the prices have would collapsed. So we started from the cut report when we saw the divergence between volume and prices, we went to the overbought and oversold uh, page where with the statistic, we understood that something in this trend was uh, changing because as you can see exactly on the top, we, find, we found the divergence between prices and the indicator 
Let's go to the seasonality, guys, because if, for example, we put 10 and 15 years of data, what we can see is something really interesting. Because look, starting from the end of April, we can see a downward trend using the average of the last 10 year and 15 year of the cocoa prices. And as you can see, if we go here and we select short position, we can really easily find that in the last 10 year in this specific period, we add 60 percentage of a winning trade, talking about a short, with an average return of 5.3 and 66.7 percentage in the last 15 with an average return of 6.7 petroleum treasury and we have also something really interesting because of course you probably know that talking about cot report um, officially we only have uh, the cot report of um, the future listed at the CME, but we also created the synthetic talking about currencies. Very simple. We took the Australian dollar cut, the Canadian dollar cut, and we created a new one for a cross, which is Audi CAD. Okay. So Nobody, uh, no other software has got this, this uh, synthetic uh, uh, cut report. You can find it all for all the major currencies.